I'm on what's fondly called the morning workboat to Spike Island, which has been open to the public since 2016. And already, it has scooped Europe's leading tourist attraction at the prestigious World Travel Awards. Spike Island finally opened as a tourist destination in 2016. And to date, 6.5 million euro has been spent. It's been fantastic to be honest. Our first year was 2016. We did about 27,000. Last year we did 70,000. I think an island prison is a very well established uh, offering like Alcatraz, like Robin Island. Uh, we had some great success when we won Europe's leading tourist attraction. And again, that's got people thinking, wow, we've got our very own uh, island prison right here in Europe. So not just Irish appeal, but international appeal, very, very strong in Europe. And we hope that we'll see the visitors come as a result of that. In 2010, there was another handover of Spike Island to Cork County Council, this time by the grandson of Eamon de Valera, Eamon O'Queeve. The island's heritage was now finally at the forefront of future plans. got a monastic tradition that goes back to the 6th century. We've got the largest prison in the entire world in the 1850s and there's never been a bigger prison in Britain or Ireland. Uh, you've also got the army tradition and that is both the British and Irish army and navy. So you've got massive ties across so many different fields. No matter who you are you'll find something of interest on Spike Island. The original master plan actually called for a 40 million euro investment uh, in the entire island to see the project through to fruition. Uh, 6.5 million has been invested to date and we'd love to go back for another similar figure in the coming years to add that next line of projects and to continue the development. Uh, there really is no end to the potential and as long as we see a return on that and we see visitor numbers growing, we can absolutely keep on investing in the site.